Hello everyone, this is Hoda Kanji and in this video we're going to create some property lines in Revit. So I'm going to work with Revit 2025 today. Let's open a new model. I want to go to default metric template, open and OK. Uh, as for the units, I want to go with UN under length. Let's uh, set it to millimeters decimal places. That's uh, usually good for architectural projects. I'm going to say OK and OK. It's better to start drawing in the site plan. The property line should better be in the site plan. Under massing as site, you see property line here, right? So I want to put my Revit and PDF file side by side. Let's make this a bit smaller so I can see the whole thing. There we go. So. In the site plan, we already set the units. I want to go with property line and I want to go with create by distances and bearings. So uh, usually you would start from one corner and continue till you get back to the same point. I want to start from the top left corner and go clockwise, get back to the same point. So. Distance, it means what's the distance on uh, the, that specific part of the property. You see it's 53.29, this value. So I'm going to type 53.29 M. That M means it's meters. Although the units of the project is in millimeters, when I put the M, it will automatically uh, convert it into millimeters from meters, which is 53.290 millimeters. And you see it's north to east, so north to east, and here is 30 degrees. I need to put it here, 51 minutes and 44 seconds. And this is a northeast line. We'll add another line. We'll go with the second um, line, which is 5.96 meters. I'm going to put the value here. Remember to put M at the end, so it's going to convert meters to millimeters, south to east. So I'm going to change this to south to east, and it's 70 degrees, 70, 33 minutes, and 36 seconds. So we'll keep going with the next one, insert. You see 7.48, I'll put 7.48 M. It's north to east, north to east, 40 degrees, 56 minutes and 12 seconds. Uh, as for the next line, we'll go with 13.86, 13.86 meters. When you put the M at the end, it knows that it's meters, it will convert it. It's south to east. And it's 44, I'm reading this value here, 45, and the last one is 35. We have two more lines I'm going to go with insert. The next one is 51.46M, south to west, you see here, so I'm going to change this to south to west. 26 degrees, 11, and 07. And finally, the last one is 25.77, 25.77 meters, put M, so it will convert it north to west, and it's this number here, 75 degrees, 07, and 54. Uh, so double check your numbers. If it all seems good, hit OK uh, and just click somewhere. It, maybe you can, if you want, you can put it on uh, the project base point. I'm going to maximize this view. Let's say the orientation of it is going to look like this. So in that case, I'm going to go with manage. I'm going to rotate the project north. 
right now it's uh, according to the true north rotate project notice i want to say align it with the selected line which is this one it said it aligned it but it aligned it in the other uh, direction vertically so i'm gonna say rotate project north 90 degrees clockwise now it's better okay a couple of points here first if you see that your rotate project north is grayed out it's probably because your view is not oriented to project north so this has to be set to project north so rotate project north shows up here second thing is now your elevations if i go to south elevation or so i don't have anything at the moment but they are a little bit disoriented we want it to be oriented based on our new project north so i'm going to click on each of the elevations use this rotate here move it it will snap and then i want to also select it and move it a little bit lower here do this one by one select the circle around the elevation use the rotate here so it will snap this other one i want to move it to the right side of the project click on it rotate till it snaps and finally the last one here uh, i'm gonna move it a bit uh, to the right and then click on it rotate it till it will snap let's see if we can tag the lines i'm gonna go with tag by category and i want to select the line and it says that you have not loaded any tags for property line yet so let's do that i'm gonna load the tag uh, it should be under annotations so i uh, it's gonna be under civil menu i'm gonna go to civil and i'm looking for metric property line tag hit open and now you can tag each of this one. Uh, if you don't want the leader line when you are tagging, we can remove it later. This one, this one, and this one. So that thing is called lead, leader line. You can remove it if you don't want, or you can keep it. Uh, I'm gonna change my scale so we see we see them better. Uh, or maybe I can go with 1 to 250. I'll go with a custom scale, 1 to 250. Okay, uh, feel free to move move the tag a little bit. You can use um, the arrow keys on the keyboard. I'm going to remove the leader line and move them one by one. Same with this one. And same with this one, I can just move it here, remove the leader line if you want, and finally this one. So now we could exactly what we see on the PDF here. Uh, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.